Uh, what we're going to talk about today, uh, as I promised last week, uh, there will be a light camera, it's a Pyronix light camera. Um, so have a look here. It's quite heavy. Uh, I have it already connected um, with the 230 um, voltage there. So it's, it's quite massive, you can see. But it's a cool looking <laughs> um, camera slash PIR and light for your back garden, front entrance, the garage, whatever you have there. Um, like you see here, really strong uh, two lights. Um, also with the camera down below, two megapixel camera with a built-in IR and also PIR. So you can use it as like a PIR light as you usually do with the with a light that you don't want to manually you know, adjust yourself anytime you get out, it will trigger um, automatically for you. But also you have the camera that you can look at your app on the phone and also you can trigger the alarm. It has a built-in speaker on the side of it. Uh, you can also use the SD card, you can plug it in and you can record events if you like. Uh, but also you can just speak through your phone to whoever is on the front of it. So you probably view some um, promotion uh, videos before on a YouTube, but uh, I just you know got it in my hand today and it's really, really something. Um, like you see here, camera to megapixel, IR built in, really simple setup, but it all works together. So uh, you can set up the motion detection for the camera with a PIR and then it can trigger the light only or the light and the siren if you like. Uh, so let me show you how to set it up. Like I said, it's a 230 uh, power supply built-in. Uh, you just put it on the wall. Uh, there's a bracket. Uh, there's actually some accessories coming with. Uh, so you have this white box. There you go. And in the white box, you actually have a few screws, uh, plugs there, and a tiny screwdriver uh, with some uh, seal there. So uh, that's all you need to install it. Um, it's, it's really useful and easy to install for, for anyone um, to, to, to go on site and install one of these. And of course, there's a, a flyer there with like a quick uh, start guide. So we can go through that a quick start guide and step by step we'll explain you what to do, how to install this um, device. Like you see here, it's really straightforward and there's not much to read. And most of these are pictures. So. <laughs> very straightforward. Um, in order to get this working, we're going to need the app on the phone. Um, I tried the most recent, the latest version of the HitConnect with no success, unfortunately, just yet probably. But um, I recommend to use the Pro Control to enroll your device. You can use the same account, the HIC, HIC account, uh, on both apps. So you can just download the uh, the what you call the Pro Connect app, uh, Paronix app. It's, it looks almost exactly the same as the Hit Connect. Then you can enroll your device through there, and then go back to your Hit Connect when the device is already um, enrolled and, and ready to go. So let me go ahead and show you actually on the app itself how does it look like, what options you have available for you. Um, so let me jump into my phone here. So there's my phone. Uh, sorry, not this one camera brilliant uh, we we'll go to the hit connect uh, so I, I I hope you can see it there so the hit connect no usually you just do it uh, like any other hit vision Pyronix device uh, you just click the plus button scan the QR code actually the QR code um, it's on the side of the unit so uh, in the case if you like to you know scan the QR code you can take a picture you can use that picture later on your phone after you install uh, also there's a latch on the side of it and that we're going to have to press the reset button to enable the access point of this uh, of this unit it's like an access point wi-fi so your phone will sync up the settings of your own uh, local home wi-fi with this device um so let me uh let me show you the app here now so on the app itself once you have this device added uh so this is our device and like you see, I can hear myself because there's a 2A audio. Um, so there's a built-in microphone and, and the speaker. So, but I need to go to the settings of this device. So in the settings of this device, of course, I can change the name. Um, after change the name, I can change the date format and so on. Uh, regarding the light settings, I have the brightness. So I can adjust the brightness the way I want. If it's too bright, and get get the exact uh, brightness of the of the light you're looking for. Um, 
when it's triggered by the motion detection. Uh, linkage uh, light, so you can you can actually link your PIR that is on the bottom of the um, camera to trigger the light. So it's basically like any other uh, PIR uh, LED light. You know, if you're in the range of your PIR, it will trigger the light and turn it on. So you can select how far you can get. You can see it's up to 10 meters range, so uh, you can you can adjust that to what you need. Uh, and just click the save button. So this is the link just for the PAR, uh, but also there's an option later on to show you how to enable it for uh, the actual alarm as well uh, to trigger and start flashing the light. Um, so the light settings, that one thing. Notification at the moment I have uh, disabled, so I would need to turn on the notification and then uh, I can obviously set up the schedule for those notifications for the alarm when it's gonna trigger the siren if I need to. Uh, so you see there's a few options like a draw the motion detection um, area. So if I click that, of course, uh, it's going to ask me to, you know, highlight the area so I can just highlight anywhere I want. And this is going to be my zone and just click the check button and go back. That's it. That's saved. So this is my zone of the intrusion detection uh, together with the PAR. Uh, when someone's going to move in, it will trigger the alarm. So uh, what you have there, it's the mute now. So I have it on mute. You can see you can link that light if you like, or you just have a siren on its own. And that's no problem. So there's multiple different options and set up, you know, to what you uh, require. So in the case, if I will have a soft uh, warning sound, uh, let me see. I don't know if you could hear that, you know, and the phone actually uh, got the message as well that I was like on the front of it. Simple as that. Obviously, if you have the card, the SD card, you can do the playback. In this case, you can just do live if that is a standalone device. Um, of course, if, if someone is standing on front of it, you can talk to him and, and have a two-way audio conversation. So that was just a soft um, sound. I'm just going to change it to alarm. So I'm just going to go in a more intense alarm. So there it is. So I'm just going to put my hand again. There you go. It's loud, quite loud. So if someone is on the front of it, they're definitely going to hear it. So I'm going to mute that now. So if someone's going to be on the front of this unit, definitely going to hear it. Um, so that's how simple it is. Um, so you just need to select the zone. You select the, you know, what's going to happen when someone's going to walk into that zone. And then you're going to get the message. And also you can you can talk to whoever. Of course, you have an option like a microphone. You can enable or turn off that microphone if you don't need to or you're not going to use it. Um, if there's a network signal, obviously Wi-Fi has to be strong enough to pick it up because there's no other connection. There's only Wi-Fi that can be connected with this unit. So if this device is at the front of your house and you have the modem somewhere at the back or on the first or the second floor of your house, I recommend to use an extender, just like, for example, the Wi-Fi doorbell. And um, usually, you know, doorbell, it's outside the house. The same, this unit will be outside the house. So you need to put some, some sort of extender to boost the signal, to make it easier for connecting to the internet. Uh, of course, you can configure your network in the case if you're, I don't know, changing your broadband provider, they will send you a new modem. You just need to click the button to change the network settings and together with your phone and um, once you have your phone connected to the new modem to the new wi-fi you can go ahead and go through the process of connect connecting to the new wi-fi um, cloud storage of course it's uh, available um, if you like to use the cloud storage in in, in, in later on um, another one storage status as i said there's no memory card so i would recommend to put the sd card to it uh, just so you have it but also you can record this picture to your recorder. The only thing you need to do, find out the IP address of your uh, uh, Pyronix uh, light camera, which you can use with the, you can use the SADP software to find it. The password of your device will be actually the verification code on the sticker on the side of that when you have the QR code on the, on the side of it. So that's your password for your device in order to connect your camera to your recorder. The same thing is with the doorbell. Once you have the doorbell, the QR code and the serial number, that's one thing, but there's a verification code and that's the password for your device. So if you like to connect your Wi-Fi doorbell, you, know, you can use that uh, if you need to as well. 
There's an image encryption device version. Obviously, it's the latest. Uh, if there's an uh, option available for the, the, the latest firmware, uh, it will highlight here if you'd like to uh, update it. And you have the IR light that you can turn on and off. Really simple, just like with any other camera. But if there is enough light and you, you select the light to be turning on when there's a motion detection enabled, I wouldn't recommend to use the IR. I would just turn it off because when there will be too much, too much of the light of the of the LEDs built in, you know the the the, the camera will start flickering. You know that feeling when the, the, when 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 the uh, IRs are start flickering when there's like it's so much light flashing at the at the front of the camera and the sensor is going to pick it up too much light. Then the picture wouldn't be as clear and it would be flickering. So it's no point in that case. So I would turn on only if I'm not using the <laughs> LED light. Um, so yeah, you see, this is really, really simple device, uh, but very powerful. Like I said, no, you can go and go live view, and you can <laughs> you can hear myself here now. I'm just gonna turn down the volume. Of course, on the bottom of the page, we have a few options, so you can change to Ultra HD, which is just a you know 1080. Um, you have the microphone, so I can talk, uh, just press and talk to whoever's on the front of it. So, hello, this is the microphone test. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, sorry for the echo, but yeah, it's working perfectly fine. Uh, almost no latency. Uh, also, you see the small tiny bottom on the bottom of the page. Uh, it's like a, a siren. Uh, if I press that, that will actually trigger the siren. So, you don't have to necessarily to enable the siren signal uh, automatically. You just like to scare someone off once a while, you know, when you actually see them on the camera. So you can just click that, turn on the light, and they turn on the uh, siren. So uh, you see, it's 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 really really something. Um, so yeah, of course, uh, there's like a you know, zoom in, snapshot, and so on. Typical um, applications for it. So if you like to uh, get the price on this device, get to the lads and sales. They're going to get you the price, decent price, because you watch this video, you're going to get some discount as well. And um, so if you have any technical issues with this device, which I, I would say you have no issues whatsoever. It's really straightforward. Apart from this initial setup, when you have to enroll this device to the app on the phone. Uh, at the moment, with the latest just released app on uh, the Hit Connect, has some difficulties but that will be obviously fixed in the next couple of weeks or, or a few days basically but you know the the, the pyronics app works perfectly fine so you, as i said if you have an account with the hit connect already download the pyronics app log in uh it's kind of a way around it but you now will allow you to actually successfully add this device uh, to your cloud then you can just you know delete the pyronics app and just stay with the hit connect and they have all the options available back in back back in the in the settings of of your phone so uh thank you very much guys uh for for, for watching if you have any questions please comment uh or give us a call send us an email uh we're going to look after you so uh there's a whole team that's going to be uh looking after all you guys so thank you very much again and thank you for uh your time